Okay, guys, welcome back to Eternal Darkness. Uh, when we left off, uh, we became a Roman soldier in the era before Christ. And we got sucked into this temple. And now we are with no place to go except down into this cavern. A ladder leads into the dank heart of the labyrinth. Danger lurks beneath, yet pious, pious's courage resolve does not buckle. Should Pius climb down into the ladder? Climb down the ladder? Yeah, he should. He, he chooses not to. He chooses to hit the wrong button. <laughs> Alright, let's go down there. Well, this guy jumps up and he is game over. Jesus, what happened here? Oh boy. Someone wants a hurting. He's not backing down. I like this. He's a well trained Roman. Come on. Come on. Come on. What? Come on, boy. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I know retro gaming. I know how not to die. You guys never stay dead, do you? Finish him. Yes. BB. Oh, yeah. Retro gaming tip guys, when they fall down they're never really dead, they come back. Health meter represents every time a character... Yeah, okay. Thank you. Back. Yeah. Finish him off, stick him down. That's what I like to see. Oh, anyone else? Got some commentary? No. Oh. Examine. A strange granite block lies on the floor. Yeah. This already has a feeling that. The time in this era is just whatever horror there is in this game. It's beyond. Hold on, let me just let me lay down the law here. Nope, not like that. The controls are a bit clunky. But I'm a tough Roman, so I can finish these guys. Yeah, but whatever, whatever is the big bad thing here. It has a feeling that it's been around a long, long time. And that is... Okay, we'll take that one too. And that is something that also is very typical of Lovecraft. Is that the... The age. Age. You know, things are much older than we could ever know. Um, yeah. And we're just all stumbling upon it like stupid monkeys that we are. Ah! Oh, I'm getting better now. Oops. You don't circle me, boy. Oops. No, I wanted to finish him off. I'm not a coward. Ah, my health is getting down a bit. I need a potion or something later on. Come on! I love these these finishing, you know, you just very cool. You just stab the bastard when he's down. Finish him off. I got it down now. It's old school retro gaming controls. You know, modern day era, there'd probably be a goddamn quick time event to kill them or something like that, you know? But back then, kids, this was how, <laughs> how it was. <laughs> if I'm talking to my friend Dom there, uh, Dominic, you know, I mean, you 
for you this is very very modern you know it's a bit more than an atari but you see this is i actually met you did a shout out to me in the video there oh, yeah. take his arm off take his arm off that's it baby you know atari had it has its um, charm for sure but it's mm, okay yeah nes had the ability to immerse you to some degree but atari just didn't do it for me uh, i always turn left when there's a fork in the road right, so what is calling me yeah so maybe i need to give it a chance you know anything retro i kind of like come on come on come on come on I like this camera angle. I cannot see what's coming. I know it's bad news though. Ah! Ah! Jesus Christ! No! Okay, health is getting not so good. Ah! Ah, my health is dodgy. You don't have arms. How are you gonna hurt me, man? Just but just just but a scratch, you could say, huh? <laughs> Jesus, my health is not so okay. I only risked my health there a little bit uh, because I have a feeling that this is this is what was coming next and that there won't be any more fights. Let's see if my retro skills are correct. Alright, that's a trap. Uh, <laughs> Alright, now we've got our stones. One, two, three. How many do we have by now? One, two, three. Red, blue, and green. All right, Red, uh, let's go blue. This wall is prominent, prominently decorated with a strange lion symbol carved into the granite. Cut into the wall is a square hole. Yeah. So maybe I just pick this one up first. Although it feels like a trap. No trap. Alright. Well, this one went there, so... Uh... This one. No. Bingo. Not the trick is the puzzles, I must say. Uh, puzzles back in the day used to be a lot harder than this. I love the atmosphere of this game so far. So far it's just, it's really getting it to me. Scratching that itch. I mean, I played games like The Shore recently. Um, that was just a, that was just depressing. That was not fun. Lust From Beyond was amazing. That was very original. That's what I really appreciated about it. Um, and it took something like sex. That one out. It took something like sex, a lust from, from beyond, which you would think, okay, it's gonna be campy, they're gonna have sex there for sex, for the sake of it, but it really, it made sense in the context of the story, you know. Um, you know, using sex, am I gonna get jumped? No. Using sex for the, because it's a human thing, right? It was our way of basically interpreting this world Lucifer that we went into and uh, yeah anyway it's, it's really not a bad game I know some of you asked me to do Lust uh, for Darkness which is like the first game oh god 
pressing R. Okay. Pius, you must prove your worth by destroying the statue. Pressing R will enable Pius to select which. Releasing R slightly and then pressing it again. Okay. And this is a new mechanic. Pressing game will cycle between multiple targets. Pyres can attack specific body parts while locking onto an enemy. Oh god, really? Okay. So, I can... okay. Okay, let me just try and get, uh, comprehend this. I'm not getting it exactly. Releasing R slightly, which is okay. That's a trigger. No, no, not you. Examine. Release the trigger. Pies can attack specific body parts or locked into an enemy by moving and pressing A. Okay. Fun way to introduce the concept of attacking. Uh, I last saw something like that in the Legend of Zelda. That was, that was N64, but it also had like targeting. That was pretty good. Oh, Shibal! Shibali! Yeah, just take his head off, man. He can't hurt you, right? Yeah, take off the head and then it's. Lost it so swings. Ah. Okay, I, I don't think I can run by it, guys. My health is has seen better days. Oh god, I am messed up. Ah, my health is, is dodgy as shit. Ah, come on, don't die, buddy. Ah, I didn't know this feature before, but my health is... Christ, I need something. I'd settle for a green herb even here. Come on, limp along here, buddy. <sighs> a button attached to a small pylon softly illuminates the room. A bizarre energy seems to radiate from it. Press the button. I think it's a healing thing. No? That was wishful thinking. But if I know my games, I shouldn't be able to get this far without some health kit appearing. Sculpture resembling a red clawed worm mysteriously floats above the pedestal. No. Oh, yes, I took it. happened to me oh my god
Eons have passed since then, and I have learned much. Chaturga's power filled me, invigorating my dead body. With a touch, I could level buildings, rend the ground asunder, and channel power such as mortal men could only dream. Face me, and you shall surely perish. The Tome of Eternal Darkness. Can I examine that now and understand it? Hmm. Strangely, with the Tome of Eternal Darkness in her possession, Alex can read the page. It is a chapter page from the Tome itself. Yeah, take it. The Binding of the Corpse God. Hmm. I cannot say what was the true beginning, nor am I sure of its end. So perhaps here is the best place to start. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book, The Golden Bough, a study in magic and religion. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, Ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine and legends are born. Hmm. Thy time is done, great ancient. Forever in shadow will you be master of chaos. And to fade to nothing in obscurity will be thy fate. My master has planned many millennia for this day. It is the true chaos of all things that you now must be entombed amongst the, the beings, beings of, of flesh and bone. bone. You have a great monument here, Mantarok. It is a pity that no one will ever recognize it as yours. May the darkness claim thee. Chaos and damn beast! No longer will thy reign be kept over the ancients you have kept imprisoned. Thou hast seen the last of this world. Fables can keep me amused. There has to be something to do around here. I only wish something that fantastic and of higher purpose could happen to me. All right, lads. Uh, basically, what happened was I I read the book that that page I found in the wall in my grandfather's study. I read the book, uh, the page. And yeah, I got sucked into this thing. Now it's like 1100 AD, and I seem to be uh, yeah, an Aztec or something. Oh, okay. Same symbols from before. These etched grooves are filled with colored sand. These symbols appear to be related to each other, with one having pre precedence over another. Hmm. Same mechanic with the fighting, it seems. A statue of a goddess, delicately sculpted from sandstone. It casts an alert eye over everyone who enters the temple. There is a strange necklace about its neck. Should Elia take the necklace from the statue? Probably not, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Strange necklace. I'm sure, I've pissed off something by doing that. 
can be used to heal Elia. Make sure that Elia does not move when the spell has been cast. All right. I follow. Hmm. Okay, it's a health thing. Hmm. Yeah, Fraser's Golden Bow. That reference there is also uh, in the game that you just heard. That's also coming from Lovecraft. That is in Call of Cthulhu, I believe it is mentioned. I haven't read it though. Uh, Fraser's Golden Bow. Uh, but if Lovecraft read it, then I feel almost an obligation to read it myself. Hmm. Alright. No place to go except through the door somewhere I'm sure oh man, I, I love the fact that this is joining so much together you know uh, in the terms of cultures eras times so I start out as that Roman uh, pious guy pious Augustus and now I that was obviously where was it it looked like North Africa or the Middle East or something that when I was a soldier certainly wasn't Italy and now I'm here as a an Azteca is that the term for a female Aztec engraved on the floor is a striking design featuring the Sun sinking below the edge of the world you know the Aztecs were kind of gloomy with that sort of stuff the world ending on the Sun and all that okay light the other candles the design on the wall appears to depict the time of the day. Perhaps the candles do too. Well, yeah, I would light them. I don't suppose I have a light. Oh, I got a short sword. I still got that book with me. All right. And these guys are going to get up, surely. Ah, oh, wonderful, wonderful. Ah, this stuff. I uh, was never good at this in the games, guys. Alright. Done, 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 done. Ah, Christ, you hit these things and then something happens. Am I supposed to be hitting them or not? Done, 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 done. Done, 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 done. Is this the Terminator theme? Done, done. Need to. I don't know if I'm supposed to be stepping on these things or not. Uh, can I turn the camera? The camera follows me. That's good. Hmm. You just know that little guy's gonna get up to this prick. Done, 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 done. Okay. It's all about the rhythm, guys. Oh boy. How are you doing? When located by creatures, a sanity loss. Oh, we're doing sanity losses here as well. Causing a decrease in the level of sanity meter and the character to pulse green. Beware! Sanity loss affects the perception. I like how the creatures is chilling there while I do the tutorial. <laughs> and eventually, health. Alright. This meter rep. Okay, it just took me out of there. The sanity meter, this represents a character's sanity. Every time he or she meets a monster, his or her sanity will get lower. The lower the sanity meter gets, the more the character will hallucinate. Alright, but this is for... This one is for health, I think. Uh... Alright, well that's not going to help me there much anyway. Ah, you buddy. Oh, take your head off one shot. You like that? Oh, wow. Performing a finishing move on a creature recovers sanity. All right. I like that. I like that a lot, man. You know, as a game, 
we also have to realize, you know, we're playing a game. It's not just for the story. Although in a Lovecraft game, story is everything. But this is fun to play. I'm actually enjoying it. A bronze necklace sits atop an ancient clay urn. If I pick it up, it's going to trigger something. Nope. Okay, I got cheated. So, what does this one do? A well-crafted bronze... Resplendent with glowing gems. Hmm. Hmm. Engraved on the floor is a striking design featuring a brightly burning sun. Hmm. Ah, look there, the candles. Previously was one lit. Now in this room there's two lit. Hmm. Oh. What was that sound? One, two. The design on the wall appears to depict a time of day. Perhaps the candles do too. Press Y, A, and X to light or extinguish the candles. Alright, I'll do my best. Hmm. Okay, so the sun is in the sky, so so this high point is cool. makes sense. But I need to do more. Oh. Hmm. It's not all the way down. But not enough for Elia to go over. Well, I mean, come on, I'm slim, I can jump that. But anyway, I'll get the point. Alright. Hmm. The design on the wall appears to depict the middle stage of the day. The day of mankind. The image is now represented by the candles as well. Alright, there's nothing more to do here. Voila! Okay, I figured it out because I took, the logic here is I took two necklaces, right? One actually does something. It's got some health points there. The other one was peanuts. It was just decorative. So it reminded me of uh, Resident Evil where you, you had to, you took something of value and then you replaced it with something else. Um, and then you could progress. All right, now we are here. The striking design of the sun rising above the edge of the world. Okay, so now we've found the three. The one that's... <clears throat> we found the sun up, midday, and sundown. So now maybe you can... Oh, there's a trap on the floor. So now maybe we can progress some more. I'm really loving this. I really am. This is... Oh god, this is really scratching of an, an itch in me to play something. I really wanted to play something lately uh, for the channel. And then this is really appealing. Ah, come on you bastard. I'm not scared of you. Take your head off, baby. That's how we do it. Now I'm much more fluent with these controls. It's very good. Finish him. Fatality. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Okay. We have to take out all the candles here, obviously. Extinguish. And extinguish. Bingo. Now we can jump through there. No way, we came through this one, didn't we? 
Hmm. Didn't I take care of these lads? No, I didn't. This is new. If I have to stop fighting them with these traps and the things swinging, that will be quite... Oops, almost stepped on one. That would be quite interesting, wouldn't it? Alright, well... Oh, I came through there, So, but what's the point now? Oops, don't step on that. Ah, uh, can you even jump? No. Why is this gonna suck? <laughs> oh, wow! Oopsie, 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 oopsie. I'll run a bit. Hmm. There is something. I thought there would be. A small pedestal covered with a decorative etchings stands before the wall. The blowgun upon it must have some special significance for it to be the focal point of the display. Should Elia take the blowgun? Yeah, that's it. That's gonna be fun. Oops. Oh, oh shit, my knife broke. Now we're doing ranged Secret weapons. Passage in the temple. I don't think a blowgun is going to be doing much against these lads. Oops. Oh no, man. How do you finish him with a blowgun though? Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Ah. <laughs> well, I prefer my sword. I don't think this does much. <laughs> I mean, you have to do a lot of blow darts on this guy. Come on. There. Finish him. Well, okay, okay. Not the ideal weapon, I think, but uh, interesting. Oops, don't waste the darts. Where's the guy? Is he dead? Where's his body? Uh. Oh, I can at least try and fix it, maybe. <clears throat> One thing I, I do kind of wish that Lovecraft had done in his life was have the ability to travel more. Oh, wow, that is a big one. Travel has proven invaluable to me in life, truly. Um, exploring different cultures, architecture, things like this. It's just, it's been so good to be able to do that and... You know, we also live in the age of internet, so you don't actually have to travel to discover about different worlds and how things are, you know. You probably hate social me media, but the ability to, like... Oh. oh, hold on, let me just, uh... Let me just take care of business here. Oh, I, I think I can do it anyway. Uh, but the, the point I mean by that is, um... He, you know, it was a different era where back then if you wanted to find out about something in the world You have to go to a library and maybe it would be dodgy information anyway But now he could I could just imagine Lovecraft going through Wikipedia You know and just thinking wow that is so cool Let me write a story about this or that or the way this culture behaves or this the, the gods worshipped by that culture You know he didn't really have that that much. I mean, he had the Kanakis in the South Sea Islands, but... Uh, so something can be inserted, perhaps a key or a lever. Can I use this? 
Mm. But I can use the handle, right? Oh, maybe not. So yeah, that, that would have been really nice to be able to see Lovecraft do that. The mural depicts a skeletal demon being befriending the ancient Kama people. Oh, I thought I was an Aztec. I'm, I'm in Cambodia then, apparently. By denouncing one of their fertility gods. The skeletal demon must be that uh, Roman. Wow, look at this. Look at that thing. Wow. Jesus. Okay. This came from up there. This game is really well made. It really is. So bad. It's so sad that it was kind of a forgotten gem, you know, and that not many people have played it. Uh, I mean, okay, Lovecraftians know about it, but uh, what I mean by that is people besides us. Oh, didn't I just come through that way? Wait, I have a map, don't I? Hmm. All right. My sense of direction in video games is always shit. <laughs> I always get lost. Ah, oh, but, yeah. It would be great to travel as well. Uh, I wanted to say, previously, I was thinking that this was like Aztec or something. And then, you know, that's, that, that's modern day uh, Aztec is basically the Mexicans. But I've seen some videos of what the cartels and the narcos do to... Uh, people they catch and they don't care if you're sort of a narco or not they uh, well they fuck you up long story short oh oh shit oh, I'm not gonna run Uh, so yeah, I don't want to risk it going down to Mexico for that to happen. I know some of my viewers are from Mexico. And, uh, yeah, obviously I know it's not all like that, but, uh, Jesus, I, I don't know. I've seen these knockout videos, guys. Ah, uh, just run! <laughs> and I don't want that to happen. Oh, they're fighting each other. Alright. Carry on, lads. Don't mind me. My money's on the... Oh, it was on the green guy, but now look at him. He's all messed up. Finish him. That was odd that they fight each other. <laughs> nice try. Hmm. <laughs> I, I really don't like this dark gun, man. <laughs> I feel like I would get further with harsh language, to be honest. the camera shaking that's not me eh? the mirror depicts one of the ancient common deities being tortured and killed by a skeletal demon oh my god well, that's the final boss I am kind of fucked I think So what was I saying earlier? Yeah, there's a tip if you are into writing, because I know a lot of you are, is look up some of the things 
on Wikipedia, just these events, and just like, hmm, that's interesting. Maybe that'll be a good story. Oh, there it is. Before, let me just get my, my thought finished before I face this tentacle motherfucker there. <clears throat> so, for example, um, The Whisper in Darkness. Uh, Lovecraft was heavily inspired that because by that in 1933 it was because that was when they discovered the existence of Pluto which is a planet I don't care what anyone says that's a planet to me <laughs> and then he basically he went with that and made a story so I always thought that if we look at some other historical events uh, which are all documented on Wikipedia and things like that you could make your own stories like the Tongusta event um, the Dyatlov incident if you look up these sorts of things, you know, you can you see, like, hmm. There was one year where I think four submarines, two Americans, one Israeli, and one French. They all, no, wait, yeah, it was like one Israeli, one Russian, one American, one French. They all sunk. And they were, it's all very close to each other. So you might be thinking, hmm, was this the year that, holy shit, that we were discovering the deep ones or something, you know? You can, just a writing tip. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, that's gonna damage your sanity. Stop! Don't go near it! Oh shit! So you are reduced to feeding on flesh and bone, Matrock. How the mighty have fallen. You will surely fester for millennia to come. A slow and torturous fate for thee. You had best leave, young fool, or you will find yourself as food for the dead god. Destiny to fight the eternal darkness. I give you a gift in return for an obligation. The gift is your life, sweet dancer. The obligation is this. You hold one of Mantarak's hearts. The essence of a corpse god. The sun that is a source of great power. From those people, you must defend it. Lest they use it to destroy what little brightness your world has left in it. Guard it well. Hmm? I'm still here with my blow dart. What? The what happened? A metal staff has been held by the arms of the statue. Uh, pick it up, yeah. Jesus Christ. My blow dart against this guy. Oh my gosh. The, the internal mythos of what's happening here is truly. It's truly, uh. There's no, no clues about inventory or. No, no, nothing. It's truly a, a, a building up. Oh, don't shoot the dark god. Jesus Christ. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to pick this up, guys. Pick it up. Alright, what does it do? Metal staff. Check. Large piece of metal. Looks kind of like a lever. Some, okay, it just goes there. That's it. Yeah, and that thing we found earlier, but I think guys this is a good place to end the video because Wow, this is a high note indeed. Let's just shoot this thing in the eye to see what happens. How are you doing? Okay, he's alright. He doesn't mind <laughs> Alright guys, let's end the video here and I'll get back to you later with whatever is gonna happen in this crazy game. Thanks